Anyways, um, we're here with Hartmut uh, Feil. Um, he's the owner of Rentec and worked for Mercedes AMG for a long time. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what Rentec does overall? Well, Rentec basically we, we take uh, Mercedes and primarily the AMG Mercedes to to the next level. Uh, everybody kind of AMG has become so good and so successful uh, that you know it's, it's very popular and, and people you know want to differentiate themselves uh, from the crowd so to speak. Yeah. So for it looks wise, you know, sound wise, performance wise, and uh, the AMG cars basically they have raised the awareness of you know, the performance and the potential of uh, Mercedes mm -hmm. quite a bit. So so it has attracted a lot of performance buyers. You know, yeah. From, Porsche side and, 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 and other fields, so um, it um, yeah it, it, it made quite a difference. And it is obviously is already a very very nice platform uh, with all the perform extra performance they have yeah. and the performance goodies they have, better suspension, better brakes, and obviously the motor already quite a bit more potential <laughs> and everything else. So. Yeah. It, uh, yeah, they they're doing an excellent, excellent job. So and then you know there's always a potential you know since it's a manufactured car just like any other you know big manufacturer. Yeah. It um, um, there is still quite a quite a lot of potential for more. Uh huh. That, that's what we do. You know, we we address everything, every every performance or customizing aspect that somebody would want. Um, lighter, forged wheels, uh, bigger brakes. You know, because you can, you can always be better. You can all, or better is maybe not the right word, uh, but just different in a sense. You know, as far as the the areas that is important to the individual person, if that's looks and, and as far as spoilers and aerodynamics, but to have the high performance look and, and different wheels, the wheels is obviously a makes one of the biggest difference in the look. And um, or if it's sound, you know, from the exhaust or from the intake side, you know, it's it's a uh, you know different different aspects, different things, you know, gets different people. Blood mm -hmm. pumping a little bit more. Yeah. Know? So it uh, and and you know some people just want the whole the whole nine yards. You know, want to want to do the whole package. They you know they just want to be different. You know, and I mean it's it, there's all kinds of reasons why you would want to spend you know additional money mm -hmm. in, in, in it and, and why you want to uh, change. You know what you can buy basically off the shelf. You know, a lot of people that can afford it, you know, they just not necessarily satisfied with what they can drag out of the showroom that anybody else can. Exactly, they want it to be unique to them. To be unique to them, a little personalized, personal statement. You know, and uh, and power, horsepower is definitely a very good one. Of yes. Them, you know, so if you and, and today's cars, you know, even the uh, smaller cars, mid-sized cars, you know, they'll perform these rice rockets and yeah. whatever, you know. I mean, they're pretty damn fast. Or, you know, and, and, and the, the recent uh, Camaros and Mustangs mm -hmm. and whatever, I mean, it's, you know, they're doing a good job as well. Yeah. And, uh, and they're pretty fast out from the factory. So that where you can, you know, some AMGs have to stretch their legs you know, yeah. to, to compete with one of those. And, and obviously you can't have that. No, of course you not. Have you, can't have the, you can't have the AMG be yeah, it can't comparable be, to a lowly Mustang or anything. It, it has beat, to be... Yeah, it cannot be beat by a Mustang or something. Yeah, that's, that's just, so, so, but, so tell us a little bit about this car that we're in right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you step on it and we have 100 miles an hour on it. Yeah. 
yes. quick, you know. And uh, and then of course you need better brakes mm -hmm. and I think you know it's it's uh, even though the AMG brakes are really good. Yeah. But it's you know when you get in that territory and, and, and increase the power, you do need to increase the brake as well. This one you know has is our um, test car so mm -hmm. to speak. We just had it on a the Gold Rush Rally. Yeah. And. Uh, this is our latest developments on it, which is you know, the AMG 63 that comes turbocharged. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have developed a bigger turbochargers for, of course, more power. Yes. And uh, but the goal is to have it still streetable. You know, the low end and mid mid range power is very important. You know, mm -hmm. and people don't want to have a, a turbo lag and things. So. So it's, uh, it's very important, it's responsive, the low end is, 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 is strong and that's what you need on the street, Yeah. not just pure power. Yes. Torque is important. People talk, talking about power, they actually mean torque. Mm -hmm. So and that's that's what this car has. So give a little statistics on this car. Yeah, it has, this has over 800 horsepower, but 830 horsepower so, and almost a thousand pounds of torque. You know, so this is what we kind of had to go struggling to get there. You know, actually with the torque we have 1,200 foot pounds almost. Oh no, my no, gosh! No, no I'm, I'm sorry, that's new meters. Yeah, I, I sometimes I mix it, that up. With, it happens. You know, but uh, yeah, we have about a thousand, almost a thousand uh, foot pounds with the V12 as well, and that was always the strongest and biggest engine we worked on. So now we have that with this engine, and we are not even done yet yeah so uh, there is there is even a little bit more on the table well one day you'll have somebody uh, you'll have AMG make a thousand horsepower car and you'll find a customer that wants 1400 yeah. well you know because of regulation uh, this uh, unfortunately is coming to an end okay you know so this is these are the last few years the uh, the V12 example will mm -hmm. uh, discontinue in, uh, in about two or three years and um, even Mercedes will not even build a V8 anymore mm -hmm. in about five years. So AMG will, you know, so the biggest engine will be a V8 mm -hmm. AMG in, in about five years from now. So, and even that engine will be a lot less displacement. Mm -hmm. you know, that will be yes. the next, the next uh, V8 engine is a four liter V8 turbo. But does that mean power is going to go down? No, power is going to be about the same. So, I mean, I know that one of the things they talk about in Formula One next year, switching to the four-cylinder turbos, they're looking at making the exact same power out of them in a different way that they're making out of a much bigger V8 this right. year. So, right. Well, obviously, uh, you know, the money that's being spent right now in developing these engines and emissions and efficiency has come a long way. And uh, obviously, with the regulations, everything is becoming turbocharged mm -hmm. and direct injected. Otherwise, you cannot uh, you, 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 you cannot comply anymore with yeah. the regulations. So, um, and obviously, less displacement, more efficient, a little bit more RPMs here and there too, and uh, more efficient turbos, friction, you know, less friction. All, all these kind, all these developments becoming mm -hmm. uh, are finding their ways now in OE. Uh, cars mm -hmm. that was well, used to be just strictly racing and, yeah. and very expensive. So, so it uh, it's, uh, it's been in the last few years and in the, in the coming next few years some big developments, mm -hmm. big, big changes. So we were talking about the quote unquote the Camelus engine um, earlier today. Um, what kind of avenues uh, do you see in, in performance products? If that became a mainstream motor, at least in in, in sports cars in the in the near future, um, not sure if I. Yeah. So we, we were talking about uh, the the future of, of engines and possibly going camless, where individual valves are controlled electronically. Um, what opportunities does that open up for performance? And well, that would be big opportunities because anything electronic uh, control, you know, that you can influence. It, yeah. You know? Especially with uh, with uh, if you lose camshafts, for example, have electronic valve yeah. control. There, you know, you have 
basically limitless valve lift and duration yeah. of your, you know, so you basically can have a virtual camshaft, you know, so you, yeah. you can, uh, yeah, I mean, that is basically what you want to have, mm -hmm. so you, you can make out of that engine whatever you want, and a uh, high performance engine or not, as long as you know, the other components mm -hmm. play along, but uh, it, uh, that is it's probably um, some, some way to go, there have to be some other development, other changes, significant changes, like I mentioned it with you earlier with the voltage mm -hmm. of the of the system of a car um, needs to change to like 42 volts or something like that and it has gotten a little bit quiet about that so I don't know where that is if that's still on the table or not. Uh, Shall we turn around? Sure. Does uh does does Rentec make uh, race application parts outside of consumers? So do you market to race teams, or is your end user mostly the consumer who buys a car at the showroom? Yeah, it's mostly mostly for the street. Um, here and there, some uh, some guys that want to go on some track days, and, you know, and we would like to do more. Yeah. But unfortunately, that has not caught on yet so much. The awareness that you actually can take your Mercedes to the track yeah you know I, I, I wish there would be more and and I wish we can you know get there soon mm -hmm. I've been in there working on it a little bit but it, it, it takes time you know people think or you know in the opinion you know if they go on the track they still want their Porsche or things yeah. like that you know or some other lightweight cars and, and they have a point you know the Mercedes is still a little bit on the heavy side yeah. So it's not necessarily your track car, but in the C-Class line, especially C63, mm -hmm. the AMG 63, is um, that's a nice track car. Yes. Yeah, so, um, so in, we would certainly like to make some components a little bit more directed for the for the racetrack. Um, what about CLA with the new turbocharged four-cylinder um, coming out in the CL CLA? Um, 45 AMG. I mean, is there gonna is that gonna be a big opportunity for? I, I hope so. Even though it's a front wheel drive, mm -hmm. you know, the regular version, the AMG yeah. version is a is an all wheel drive. Um, and they're gonna do an all wheel drive in the regular version at the beginning of next year. Oh yeah. 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 yeah I, I I kind of figured you know because it is a platform that can uh -huh. do both. Um, but um, it uh, I, I think it's an opportunity because I think there is a need and there is a, a want from the customers to go take their Mercedes and go on a, on a, on a track day or something like that. Sorry, this is an incredibly fast car. <laughs> Pardon me? This is an incredibly fast car. Yeah. No, this, uh, you know, this is uh, fun. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. Fun. I mean, you can, it's, it's very, you know, stable and secure yeah. feeling and it's well it feels uh, like a normal CLS when you're just driving yeah. you know exactly oh my god fortunately I almost cut one off there I did not see that one the Volkswagen yeah, yeah. did you see that one I, I did notice it I, I guess I'll we'll assume well let's get let's get out of here yeah no kidding <laughs> Quite the amazing vehicle. So you drive this yourself pretty frequently. Yeah. What other kind of automobiles are in your garage? Well, basically the C63 that you guys have there too. Yep. Uh, that is actually kind of. I mean, it's a toss which one is more fun. And I think on the street, regular road, the CLS is probably more fun. Yes. And it's kind of the. the That's better, beautiful. The better look all. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's, it's beautiful. The CLS is just beautiful. And um, so in the, the C-Class, the C63, is the better track car. Yeah. Because it's lighter and it has, it just, has, it's more fun. Than the yeah, the setup, track. yeah. The CLS is unfortunately a little bit on the heavy side. So are you going to leave all the uh, Gold Rush Rally stickers on the car? For a little while. Yeah? It's kind of cool. Yeah. 
Miami for a month or two. Yeah? Yeah, how was that? It, it was fun. Where was it from? It started in San Francisco. Okay. Went to LA and then Las Vegas. From there, they put it actually on a transporter and transported it to uh, Dallas. Okay. So it basically has two legs. Yeah. You know, like an East Coast leg and a, and a West Coast leg and an East Coast leg. Okay. But it's um, so they um, um, so you can choose either one or, yeah. or both, of course. Okay. And um, this time. Last year I did it for the first time. We only had the East Coast leg. Yep. This time we did we did actually both. And, uh, why and the why the ship and why didn't you drive the the distance between Vegas and Dallas? I, I guess it's too much driving or so. You know, yeah, they, that's some, a long drive. Yeah, and there's a little party involved, you know. So uh, it's kind of part of the whole experience, you know. So uh, I don't know. That, that's a probably wouldn't want to drive the day after. Yeah, I, I yeah exactly. Yeah, I personally probably rather uh, drive yeah. a little bit more, you know, but um, it's it's their concept. Mm -hmm. It's just such a stable vehicle. Yeah, it's, and, you know, with, even with small modifications, you know, to, to wheels and suspension, whatever, yeah. and it just makes such a big difference in, in uh, just gets it that that extra notch yeah uh, in, in more into the sports car territory and you have that in a photo sedan mm -hmm. you know, so it's it's uh, that's kind of the the unique uh, well, maybe not unique but that's kind of the specialty mm -hmm. from us or you know from what we do is you know you have the sports car feel handling and power in a photo sedan. Yeah. So what suspension has been done to this car, if any? Yeah, it's uh, we have a suspension system for that. Um, since the this generation, uh, E-Class and CLS mm -hmm. has uh, regular springs and, and, and struts in the front okay. and an airbag in the rear. So we have two different systems available. Obviously, a, a spring and shock, mm -hmm. uh, not shock, but a shock platform where you can have fully adjustable suspension now as far as right yeah. height. And then the rear, um, we have either uh, where you can adjust it with a link, with an adjustable link. And on this car, this is normally we don't recommend that, but this is possible because in the rear, you usually don't lower that much. Okay. So it's only like a quarter inch or half an inch yeah. that you want to lower and it's just about perfect. Um, and, but if you do more than that lowering, you kind of need a lowering module, mm -hmm. an electronic module that kind of adjusts it because with the links, it just is not, uh, uh, the, the system, the OE system yeah. doesn't like being fooled with the different, uh, the different geometry of, of the links. Okay, it, so it, the, it, it, the it, it computer acts, is... Yeah, if it comes too much, it acts up a little bit, you know, so it does strange things. Mm -hmm. um, I know there is on the market these kind of things, yeah. um, but they usually don't work correctly. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, it lowers it, but certain driving conditions, it's not... It's not, not perfect, it's not work, ideal. Work as well yeah. anymore. Doesn't need much. Yeah, and that's the other thing, you know, you can, you can do it so easy. Yeah. And obviously you have to get used to it, but you, you know, on a such short distance, you can kind of have a little fun, you know, as the road is open in front of you. Yeah. Step it a little bit, and it's got so much torque, you know, like one gear down or so, you know, uh -huh. it's plenty, and then just roll down. Amazing. And then you know, slow down a little bit, which yeah. is traffic, of course. You know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it, you know power mm -hmm. 
horsepower is, is obviously a lot of fun. Yes. But so is brakes, for example. You know, a lot of people don't overlook a little bit of brake. They want more power. But yeah. The rest is kind of secondary or like, oh, I'm not gonna go that fast anyway. I yeah, exactly. Brakes and uh, you know, kind of. Oh, you just need them once. Yeah, exactly. Kind of, you know, and brakes is a, is a safety uh, item. Are we anyway? Uh, oh, actually, um, we we'll get off it. No, no, not okay. yet. We'll get off at the next exit. So, 67th Street up here is. Uh, you didn't get pulled over on the Gold Rush, did you? Nope. No? Is it a few guys? Yeah, I think Always, so. yeah. yeah. Always a few guys. Last year, actually, there was a couple of guys got arrested, you know, for, for a few hours or something. Yeah. But uh, there's always a few crazy guys there, you know, that just kind of overdo it a little bit, uh -huh. you know, and, and they get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, well, that, it's, I mean, we do go fast. Yeah. Not always continuously, but, but yeah. I mean, we, we usually go in that group right around 100, mm -hmm. 120 miles an hour as far as cruising. Yeah. 90%. And, and then every once in a while, if it's open, we floor it and we go to 160, 180, mm -hmm. 200. Uh, this year I went a few times to 180 and a bunch of, whole bunch of times to like 160 or so, yeah. which is kind of quick and mm -hmm. simple. <laughs> and, uh, but last year, we, last year I had the same car. I went, um, I think the fastest I went was like a little bit over 200. Oh, okay. In this one? Yeah. Okay. And that was before we did the turbos, and it still had a little bit to go. Okay. So wow. I think the car will do 210, 215. Have you thought about taking this, like the Texas Mile or something like that? Um, I have thought about it. Actually, the car was supposed to go just in, in the mm -hmm. last Texas Mile, but uh, then you know, the, the guy that was supposed to take it, um, it just. Well, I'm available next year uh, if your if your person drops out. Obviously, <laughs> we had uh, it's just going to Texas and whatever. It's just for this one day. It's yeah. just kind of a little bit pain, but um, we had a really nice one in Florida, mm -hmm. and uh, I did that like two or three times. I didn't have this car at that time, but now they don't have it anymore. Unfortunately, there was some disagreements yeah. with permitting and I guess who, who makes the money or something. Exactly. I don't know. It's, a, it's unfortunate. But because it, that was a perfect location for me, obviously, not too far away. Exactly. And uh, and, and the track was very nice. It was like a two mile or, or even more two and a half mile mm -hmm. long runway. Extremely wide for the military is using it for these big planes and, mm -hmm. and jets and whatever. For touch and goes and okay. things like that, and um, that's that's the only use they have right now. So it's not being used very often. It's a good location for it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much uh, for spending a little time. Um, we're very uh, very happy to carry your products, and uh, you know definitely I think um, having uh, this display out here today will you know give people a couple of reasons to consider maybe making their own vehicle a little more unique. Yeah, you're, you're very welcome. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad you, you know, representing our products here very well. You know, it's important, and I, I think it is important um, for the Mercedes, for any Mercedes dealer, to offer these kind mm -hmm. of things because the customers want it. Yes. They demand it. They they want to have these kind of. They want to have that option, and um, and and if they don't get it from from their dealership, then they go someplace else. Exactly. And then. You guys don't. The dealership doesn't know who who worked, what did what did they do, what did they mess up. Exactly. Know? And there's always problems, and then which you guys gonna have to solve. Exactly. You know so, and and warranty issues and this and that. But if it if it comes from you know trusted company like exactly. us, of course, you know, and we've been around now 24 years, and uh, and I have, I have very good relationships with uh, Mercedes, mm -hmm. 
and uh, AMG as well. You know, depends on it. I mean, AMG is obviously changing yeah. quite a bit. It's now a big corporation, a part of the corporation. You know, they, they're gonna, they're, they're basically like at 1,000 people mm -hmm. strong now. Yeah. And uh, I obviously do not know the top management anymore. I do know here there's some middle management mm -hmm. from, you know, from the old AMG days. Quite a few people still there, and uh, if, you know, good relationships with those. Um, yeah, in the early days, I had uh, you know a very good relationship with the owner, mm -hmm. you know, with the top management, and uh, that was always a good help because they were always positive. Uh, towards me and towards mm -hmm. Rentec, didn't see it as a threat mm -hmm. or as a competition or whatever, which which is not. Mm -hmm. We complement yeah. uh, the AMG line, and um, it's not a competition you know, mm -hmm. because we take the AMG car and according to the customer what they want. You know, exactly. Performance is that, and and those are things that AMG. You know, has a hard time doing that on mm -hmm. their own. It's it's become a big company, and it's it's different. You know, certification, liabilities, and you know, exactly. many reasons why they cannot do it. Mm -hmm. You know, and and the AMG, just like any other manufactured car, even though they have a, a little bit more of a niche, mm -hmm. but it, it they want to appeal obviously to the to a more broad biggest yeah. variety, broad variety of, of people. Uh, so they can sell as many cars as possible. Exactly. Yeah, and um, and there obviously is room for those people that want even a little Just bit more, a little more, uh, yeah, a little extra, and that obviously is not a problem with us. So. Okay, well, thank you so much. I You're appreciate welcome. it. Yeah, thank you.